Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with more Shadow Gun Legends. I have a special guest today on the channel. It's Sebastian from Mad Finger Games. Hello, Sebastian. First time on the channel. Super happy to have you here. Yeah, happy to be here. Um, so for the guys who don't know you yet, because you've been on the Mad stream a couple of times already, so you've yeah. been introduced. But once again, can you tell us uh, your title at Mad Finger Games? Yes, so uh, I'm a game designer and the game master of the uh, new Genesis system in Shadowgun Legends. All right, game master, game designer. So you're the one behind all the new events uh, from Pedro's mostly, right? Yes, uh, it's me and the, and the team. Uh, we work together on this, but, uh, but yeah, I, uh, uh, I'm in charge of the, of the Genesis system. So what do you do when you're not working? Are you a gamer outside of the workplace? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, video games uh, are my passion. I actually like uh, study them partially at, at university. Okay. Uh, still. So, uh, but other than that, yeah. You have a favorite game right now? What do you play right now? Oh, right now I'm, uh, I'm actually trying to finish the Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid series. I'm oh, yeah. the last game. Okay, Metal Gear Solid. So, do you play the the old one on uh, PlayStation? Oh yeah, I, I I played all of them. All right, it was one of my good games on PlayStation. The the first Metal Gear Solid, I really really like. So then, uh, any other hobbies when you're not playing video games? What do you do? Uh, I do anime stuff, but I like uh, fiction. I like uh, sci-fi mostly. All right. Uh, in, in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, books, movies, or uh, even LARPs. LARPs? Live action, yeah, live action role playing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, role playing. Nice. Now, talking about the Genesis system, because there was a 0.6.2 update, and then uh, from what I understand, uh, you guys have been like changing the system. So now we can have events all the time, right? Yes, precisely. That was that was the big change. So uh, it made it easier for us to actually prepare the, the events. So what's the plan? Is it going to be back to back to back events all the time, or like one event ends and one other event starts? Yeah. Well, that's the uh, that's the plan. We want to uh, bring you events every week. So usually the the change will be uh, is scheduled for Monday at. Uh, 12 a.m. Uh, uh, GMT. It might move around a bit, like a few hours here, a few hours there. But uh, Monday is when the one event changes into the next event. The event we have today uh, is going to be the Melee Mayhem. It's been uh, yeah. announced a little bit of details. Um, it's funny because we were expecting something else. Uh, I know. Something has been uh, leaked on the internet about blue balls, Captain Blue Balls, or something like that. Uh, we yes, saw a picture uh, of a pirate with a sitting on a chest. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? All right. So uh, the handbook for the Captain Blue Balls' is treasure is uh, an event that we had scheduled for earlier. We ran into some unexpected technical uh, difficulties along the way. So we decided to postpone it. It's definitely coming, and in fact, I can tell you it's uh, it's gonna come after the seven zero update. Yeah, there are some rumors around. I'm not gonna lie to you about. Uh, well, first of all, the Genesis system events. What was announced first is we were going to have six different rotating events. Is that still the plan? Uh, that's not the plan. Uh, the plan is to bring you uh, new events. Uh, um, some events might come around, uh, like you've seen the PvP, uh, PvP Madness event is yeah. coming back, but it's always in different iterations. So we're not gonna uh, be rehashing the same uh, events over, oh. over and over. Okay, so you would like to bring new events all the time and not rotate yes. the old ones especially specifically yes precisely wow uh, well that's good news that's very interesting did not expect that uh so then you want to do both pve and pvp events that's right do you plan to go about half and half like like half the events would be pvp or is it gonna be more pve 
I think that in the end it's gonna end up being just slightly more PvE, but it's gonna be close to the to the one one. All right, level. close to half and half. Well, yes. that what people will be happy to hear that because whenever there's a PvP event going on, it really revives the the PvP. Uh, it is a lot more active. People queue. They don't have to wait. There's a lot of action. And even the guys that don't play much PvP usually, they they actually enjoy it. It's uh, really fun when there's a lot of action and you don't have to wait. So that's a great way to revive PvP. Um, yes. So then I, I was going to ask you something else, but I was thinking the, the old events were coming back. So I was thinking maybe the, the rewards uh, I was wondering if the events were tied to a set of rewards. So if old events come back, uh, do we have the older rewards coming back? Like the Raptor set, for example. Do we have a chance to see the Raptor set come back? So uh, since the the events run for uh, one week, usually, uh, we, we wanted to make the rewards for those events feel exclusive. Okay. So... Uh, do not plan uh, on bringing uh, the, the rewards for those events back just yet. Uh, I'm not ruling out the possibility they might uh, come back later, but not anytime soon. So for now, grab it when you can. It's only for a week, and if you miss it, it might be never or a very, very long time before they possibly can come back. Uh, that's an interesting uh, thing, but then it will bring me to another point is um, the the perks on guns and armor are randomly generated, right? That's right. So uh, anytime the shop refresh, we check the shop and hope for something crazy good like great perks or great set of stats. The thing is one week for the event um, some perks are, are pretty bad and pretty common, like pickup radius and stuff like that. So it is possible that for a whole week, we might never see uh, good perks on the boots, for example. That's what I was thinking. If they come back sometime, maybe we have another chance to have better perks. Um, right. Do you Did you get that kind of feedback on the social medias that... Yes. Uh, we are aware of this. We've, we've seen it on uh, on Facebook and yeah. Reddit and uh, Discord, and this is something that we're taking into consideration into uh, the uh, upcoming versions of Genesis system. The system is still evolving, and we are still working on it and bringing improvements with uh, with every iteration. Okay. Because yeah, like people say, these events are nice, but if the rewards are not so great. Uh, it's hard to please everyone and it's also hard to make it right because if you make the rewards too powerful well there's no point playing the other game modes after that because you have the best possible stats and then there's nothing to do nothing to look for so it's hard to to balance but randomly the Raptor set was um, better because it just happened that we had triple crit shoulders and triple HP uh, chest. We had great, great boots with uh, crit and cooldown. And then on the last event, it just didn't happen. And it happened that, um, yeah, the last set did not have great stats. And yeah, it's random and it's unfortunate. So for collectors, it's cool to have these cool sets, but it's uh, even cooler if we can actually use it. One thing that people would really like is when you go in the shop and you buy an item, then it's no longer available and you cannot see the next ones when the shop refresh. Do you think there's a possibility that we can have that in the future? Uh, again, it's one of those things that uh, we are taking into consideration. Uh, we are only on uh, third, fourth uh, event right now. So uh, the Genesis system is still in its infancy and we value your feedback and we will definitely uh, work on it to make uh, the experience better for you guys. Awesome. Then one last thing, some speculations um, about the Blue Balls event because uh, we were expecting it to be part of maybe the uh, Genesis events. 
But then some people start thinking that maybe Blue Ball's event will be about getting the new skill points. You think we have something here? I really can't tell you anything about this. You cannot tell anything about this? All right. Then uh, that will pretty much be it. Before we go, do you have any secret, any scoop for my viewers? Something that we don't know yet you would like to okay. reveal maybe? I do. Uh, it's about a uh, part of the Genesis system that nobody has uh, seen before and that we're, uh, that we're trying to implement right now. Uh, you can look forward to some changes uh, in the hub, to some decorations regarding some of the upcoming events. All right, so would be part of maybe the reward, some things we could buy? Yeah, not really. Not really? All right. Uh, you, you, of course, you will get your rewards that you can buy, but think of the hub as a place. Anything about Halloween? Uh, maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're really busy right now working on the new event. So thank you for spending time to come to the channel. People will really appreciate it. I appreciate it much. And I uh, hope to see you again in the future. Yeah, I will be looking forward to Thank you for having me, Johnny. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. See ya.